Yeah, I got a bone to pick with oh. you. You go to the drive through because it's supposed to be quicker. I have a bone to pick with you. He's trying to bait me to race. I'm a man in my 40s. Yeah. I'm a good human being. This is a podcast where we talk about all the shit that pisses us off. You need to have backpack awareness. Well, can you believe he brought up his fucking ex? Because okay. your wife slowly becomes your mom. This is a bone to pick podcast. What's up, everybody? I'm Robert Kelly. And I'm Paul Verzi. And, and this, this is, is a Bone, Bone to Pick, Pick podcast. podcast. All right, buddy. We're back. We're back. We're back in the studio. We're, uh, ba we're back in the studio. We got Mikey behind the glass. We got Brenda sitting here. Hi, Brenda. And uh, How are you, baby? We got bones. We got bones. And we got real bones. I got a, I got a bone. I got a bone. I got a bone. I got a bone. Go what? ahead. You want to do a little bone? You want to do a little bone? Go ahead. You got, do you have a little bone? I have a, bo I have a big bone. You have a big bone. And it's involved with you. Oh, this first of all, dude. Yeah. First of all, yeah. This is not becoming Bobby Bones. No, no, no. But you know what? You sparked a bone. It's not always about. It's not uh, specifically about you. But you did something I that grew, people do. Yeah. I grew a bone. You grew a bone. Grew you planted bone. the seed. All right. I the grew bone, a bone grew. Yeah. But you could do a small one if you want. Well, here's the thing. Oh boy. What do you mean, oh boy? The way you said, "Here's the thing." I know you're ready. Go ahead. I got a little bone with you. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Last week you were supposed to do my podcast. Oh, you know something? What? I blew my back out. What did you say to me? What did I say? First of all, if I... Who? How old are you? What? I don't want to say that. Why? What are you? No, no. Hollywood? No, no. You a pop star? <laughs> no, no. You, it, it, but, right, listen, nobody's all not right. going to give you anything because you're 38. No, no, no. I'm 34. Go ahead. 30, what? Yeah, I'm 34. You're not 34. No, no. I'm not 34. You're not 34. You no, lied no. to me. <laughs> You just lied about first your age? Of, first of all, you could blow your back out when you're 20. I'm 52. Yeah. I'll say it right to the camera. Okay. I'm a 52-year-old man. Yeah. What are you? I'm 44. What? What? I didn't know you were that old. <laughs> I thought you were younger than that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with a fucking old man. <laughs> wow. No, I no, I'm 39. No, you're not. No, I'm 39. You're not. No, I'm 39. I'll Google it. No, no, I'm not. I'll Google it. No, I'm 44. <laughs> <laughs> I blew my back out, Buddy, Bobby. Listen, you're not Felix Unger. You no, know, I went to... Nobody blows their back Yo, out. Are you nuts? Giannis Papas was down for fucking seven days the other day. It happens. I went to the gym. I went to the gym. I did fucking... I did the elliptical. I didn't fuck... You know what You know what else I did? I didn't stretch. And I went... And, and dude... And I then, know you're lying. No, but here's, here's yeah, the... But I know, I know you're lying now. I sort of got my I lying. know you're lying now because you talk... You're giving me... The, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. You give me the excuses of why it happened. All right, you want me to tell you the truth? I yes. <laughs> I don't want you to lie. I went into a men's basketball league in my neighborhood with all the dads that play basketball, and I went there thinking that I was going to dominate. Okay, because I have a shot. I could shoot. That's why my son could shoot. I could shoot. I show up to this gym, and there's a bunch of fucking slovenly, fucking dudes. <laughs> And I went and I fucking was running up and down like a lunatic. And this 30-year-old kid that was guarding me was talking some shit. He was a dad. Like and what I, kind of shit? Just like the way he just a very subtle, yeah. very passive, aggressive. Right. I missed a shot. He goes, you want to try again? Ooh. Yeah. So now, Ooh, so now, so now I don't let him. Now did, I don't let did him. Did you move. try again? No, now I don't let him move. I swatted him against the glass. He didn't. He, I blocked his shots. Here's the thing. You blocked I went his really, shot. Wait, where is he? Well, I blocked a shot. Bad. Nothing, nah, you're five. You're five. Six. I'm five eight. I'm five eight. You're five eight. On the button. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I went for my physical. They said you're five eight. Right. You want to see my license? No. I. I okay. I'm five eight. Jesus Christ. This kid talked a little shit. He yeah. was a little anxious. He was a little talk. You know, I didn't like. You know me. I didn't. He said when when he said I thought I was hoping he was talking to somebody else. Let me ask you real, real quick. Is yeah. he outside the door of the studio? No. Then why are you whispering? I know. I get worried that they're going to listen. Who's they? I, I don't know. Maybe the people that play basketball. We're in a building with 7,000 <laughs> units. We're the only people here. <laughs> All right. I went hard on defense. I blocked them. Okay. And I didn't let them move. And I went home that night. Yeah. And I was crippled. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't your back. Your body was just hurt. No, no, no. My lower back. Your lower back. I have a, lower, I have a bad lower back. Okay. And I went to this thing. Right. I played way too hard without stretching properly, thinking uh, I was fucking 25. Right. Okay. And then, then I right. woke up in the morning. I woke up in the morning. Yep. By the way, you're, can, can we talk about your producer getting it wrong? Can we talk about that? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know what time it was, and you tell you mixed the times up. 
All right, listen, I apologize for that. Okay, he I know you did. one o'clock. Okay. And it was 8.30. But what did I say? This, this is the thing, Mikey. This is what happened. I said to you, Bobby, my back is blown out. I'm in really rough shape right now. But if you're stranded... And if you don't have a guest, I will fucking take some a leave, do whatever I have to do, schlep my ass down there and be there for you. And you said, thank you. know I'm not going to leave you with no guest because I'm not built like that. Oh, you should get Mike, you got the fucking award that he should get right now for that? <laughs> what the, f what does that mean? <laughs> because a little bone shouldn't be, hey, buddy. Okay, but here's the thing, though. You called me up. This is what bothers me about you. Okay. Because I have a son. And when he wants yeah. to stay home from school, yeah. he does the same thing you do. Hey, uh, buddy, um, oh, yeah, dude. Listen, man, uh. <laughs> I, I pulled my back. Look, if you need me, I'll do it. I'll do it. I will do it because that's the type of man I am. I'll do it. I, buddy, I'm there. If you need me, I'm there. I'll take up, I'll, I'll do pills. I'll, take I'll go to the, do I'll do whatever. I'll shoot heroin, whatever I need to do to get up and go down. But if I can, if you know what I mean, but I really pulled my back, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what am I supposed to say to that? You know, you were a good guy and you didn't let me have pain. I really appreciate it. Uh, but then I got, then, but then this is what happened. This is, this is I what I guarantee you went for lunch with your wife that day. You want to know what happened? What? I said, Stace, it's actually, it's one, it's actually one o'clock. Uh, can your mother, can your mother, can my mother-in-law, who just is home now from Florida, right. she's got to take the kids. And she called up and she says, well, I don't know if that can happen. Hold on. She called her mother, who's 40 minutes north. And her mother goes, I'll watch him. And then I start going, and then you called going, I'm sorry, this is that. We got it wrong. Immediately. You, Immediately. Did, you did do it quick. Immediately. But I got, and I put my foot in his ass. But I got my mother-in-law on the job 40 minutes away, was getting in the car, changed her day. But she didn't. She didn't. Shh, shh. When you got back to me so soon, we were able to nip it in the bud. Okay, so the answer is yes, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. And she then did. what did you do for the rest of the day? Well, I, you just I, lied on the lied on the thing, well, right? I, yeah, I, I, you I lied was, on your stomach like Larry Bird. I, I relaxed your back, right? I relaxed. Yeah, yeah well, you relaxed. Yeah, yeah, did nothing, right? I mean, I, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm a father, but what did you do? Well, I was I relaxed my back during the day while the kids were at school. Okay. Yeah, and, and it was what? it was a nice relief to not have to go run to the city and sit in a car on the way down because oh, of my you back. Running, I thought you had a Lexus. What? I thought you were running to the city. Well, no, 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 no. But you, 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 you were sitting in a luxury. Sitting. You were sitting in a luxury fucking car, <laughs> driving in town, yeah. getting out of your car, going up a fucking one flight of stairs, yeah. doing a podcast, and then getting your luxury car and going back up fucking town. I mean, yeah, you're but acting like you had to get on a donkey and ride seven hours on your back. That's terrible. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, fair enough. You were uh, cool with it though. All right, and you, I'm you, just saying. All right. all right, so let's get into this. So now I have. Can I do my big bone? Well, we're going to get into it. Yeah, we're going to get into the bones. Okay. The big bones. Okay. Bone one. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, everybody. We got, thanks to Bobby, we actually have a real human. Did you get murdered somebody for this podcast? <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? We have a, no, it's it, a humorous bone. It's a, it's a humorous bone. Not a human bone, a humorous it's bone. It's a humorous bone. Yeah. Okay, which is the top of the... It's the arm. What? It's the arm, I think. Okay. Can we Google where the fucking humorous bone? Why do you got to do this? Okay, either... Just go, we got okay. the bone. Either way, either way, it's my time. We got a bone here. Next, look at that. And the bone stays on all this right, well, side. Well, here's the deal. Whoever's doing the bone is going to be they holding the, the humorous bone. Okay, all right. Yes. I love it. Okay. Here's my bone. Now... You don't have to hold it. You just have it. Yeah, it's on this side of the table. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's my bone, okay? And you sparked it. God. You sparked it, but other people, everybody does it. My and all my latte. friends, all my friends do it. And you did it. And I don't know why people do it. I call, call you out in your shit. No, 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 no. Uh, my <laughs> wife does that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I called you and this is what happened. This is what I heard. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I heard a fucking carnival behind you. I heard, uh, it was like you were, I don't know if you were skydiving, it was like you were group skydiving. I couldn't, there was wind, there was people, and then you go like this, hello, yeah, yeah, all right, yo, Verz, I'm gonna have to call you back. Here's my bone. Guys, if you can't talk, voicemail's an option. That's what these things are for. All my friends do it. Giannis, you, Burr, you go like this, hello? Hey, listen, I can't really talk right now. Don't get me excited by getting the, hearing the person. Yeah. That's what you did. You got me excited and I'm going, oh, now I could vent. Now I could talk to a friend. And then I hear all kinds of extracurricular things and wind and then get off. 
Just go like this. I'm going to let it go to voicemail, and I'm going to let Verzi either text me or I'm going to let the let it go to voicemail because that's an option of an iPhone. Instead of getting me excited, okay, going, oh, yeah, now I could talk. And then, hello, hold, Verz, hold on a second. Can you hold on a second? Hey, man, how you doing? I hear things in the background. I hear you talking to people. Hey, everything is good. Listen, Verz, give me one second. I'm so sorry, but you know, hey, you know what? I got to call you back. It's not okay. That's my bone. This is why you bone. You got a broken bone. My bone's not broken. It's a broken bone. Why is it broken? It's a broken bone. You have an option for a Here's voicemail. Here's why it's a broken bone. Ready? Go ahead. All these people, Burr, Giannis, me. Yeah. When you call, yeah. we pick up. But hang on. We pick up because it's you. If it was anybody else. Any other, but you I, can't talk. I pick up to go, what's up, buddy? Listen, I can't talk right now. Can I call you back? Giving you the option of going, dude, I really need to talk to you right now. And then I go, dude, I got you. I'll be right. Hang on. I'm going moving away. Or, dude, yeah, call me back. I need to talk to you. Gotcha. Or don't worry about it. I'm just calling it sad. So if I didn't pick up and sent you right to voicemail, yeah. right? You're you're driving up to where you live in the middle of the country. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hour and 40 up from the city, right? What? Hour nine. Hour nine? Hour nine. You have a, what do you have? A, 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 a <laughs> no, ant, no. A, 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 an Ant-Man quantum fucking van? <laughs> Hour 40? Buddy. What do I live in Rochester? Of course. What do I live in fucking Rochester? <laughs> yes. Dude, <laughs> you live in the Rochester of fucking Westchester. <laughs> You don't live an hour and nine. You always go higher because you live in Sarasota. You go low. <laughs> you're, an, you're 40 minutes from my house. I'm 30 minutes from you. You're 35. 30 minutes. I'm 40, 50 minutes from the city. How many? 50. You're not 50 from here. 50 minutes from the city at 30. What's that? You're 50 from hour here? Hour 20. I'll do it for you. Anyways. Okay. You're driving up to the fucking Rochester of Westchester. Yeah. Your tire goes flat. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> You're in the city. Something happens. Your tag yeah. goes flat. You call me. Call Bird. Ah, Verzi hates it when you answer and you're busy. Voicemail. Fuck. You call what, Giannis. You Boom. Voicemail. He doesn't like when we pick up. You call me. I'm I'm crazy. I'm doing a, I'm at a carnival. I'm doing a dunk contest. Whatever yeah, yeah, the dick yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. And I see you and I just go boom. You got nobody. Now, other scenario that really happened. I'm busy. A lot of shit going on. Verzi's call me. What's up, bro? What's happening? I'm a little busy right now. Can I call you back? Dude, I need you. My tire's flat. I'm fucked. I got you. I'm right there. I'll be right there. Bing. Gone. Broken bone. You know what you could have done? You know what you could have done? What? You could have let it go to voicemail, or you could have just said, because you called me the other day, and I was about to go on. So you called me when I was in Charlotte. Yeah. You called me 10 minutes before I was getting announced on stage. What did I do? I let it go to I let it go to voice. No, no, no. I hit the red button, because he was about you to- douche me. No, no. I hit the red button, but right when I hit the red button not to douche you, I go, hey, bud, about to go up. I'm going to hit you after. That's what this is for. That's the option of the phone. The phone is to go, hey, you have reached so-and-so. I'm not available right now. That's the option of the phone. You got me excited. And then I heard you at a fucking amusement park <laughs> where, where, where I couldn't talk to you. Buddy, first of all, you never called me back after that, by the way. When? When you did, you were like, dude, I tell you, I'll call you right back when I'm done. Never called me back. Oh, my cousin was there. It's my first cousin. Exactly. That, that's a good bone. That's a good bone for you. But, but. Just all I'm saying to anybody, and you and people listening to this, they know. Don't <laughs> don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone if you're at a carnival. Don't answer the phone if you're in a. Was, I wasn't at a carnival. I mean, you I, where were you? I was in New York. You, it was you, you were walking down the street. Yes. Yeah, it sounded like you were hang gliding. <laughs> with fuck, <laughs> dude, it sounded like you were parasailing with people next to you. All right, <laughs> all right. And I got excited because I go, and then I just go. It got to the point you go, Verz, I'm just gonna have to call you back. And I hung up, going, Why did he even answer the phone? All right. So you wanted to talk to me. I gave you a little tease, and then I hung up on you. Yeah. Don't I, tease. Don't te just don't tease. If you can't talk, don't answer. Send a text. Use the and send you, a text. If you, hey, you good? And you of so all I people love technology. I, I hate texts. You know no, no, that. no. You love technology. I love you know, the this, phone. This I don't like the text. You love the text. You're a texter. I'm more of a texter. You're a texter. I hate, <laughs> hate texts. Ugh. Do you hate texts? I hate <laughs> texts. Why? Why? I'm not five. That's why. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm not five. That's why I'm not. I don't have a vagina. That's why I'm like that. I'm a man. What's up? Going on? Everything's done. You two, you fucking, you and Mike with the group text too. We should do this. What about that? All of a sudden, you're looking. There's a fucking chapter. I gotta read a book. I gotta read a book with you two. I call Micah. Bang, boom, boom, bang, boom. Done. Click. Fucking eight seconds. We're done. <laughs> Here's Bobby. He's, he's like, Dan, I'm on a roller coaster. Hold on, we're about to take off. <laughs> was that a carnival? I don't know. I I, I, all I know is you were talking to everybody but me, <laughs> and it sounded like all you right. were jumped I out understand. of a plane. Bobby, you jumped the gun though too. Like I'll say, what time? Seven forty-five, and you're like, I can't do this over text. I'm like, it's a, it's a time. It, it yes is not. No. I'll go through the text message. It goes, dude. What about Tuesday? I can't do Tuesday. I can do Wednesday. Well, I can't do Wednesday. What about Monday? What a time Monday, 7.45? Because no, you know what? I mean, it's back and forth. No. I'll call you on the phone, and it's done. We get it done. I mean, we get more than... We get a, a, everything done within a four-minute conversation. Can I be honest with you? Can yeah. you be honest? Can you be honest with Can you um, look yourself in the mirror? Are I, you a little bit of a control freak who needs to fucking be the guy talking? A little bit or no? No. I don't like texting. I okay. don't like... I'm driving, or I'm with somebody, and I got to sit there and go, for your... Uh, was it... Two T O O. That's no, fucking T O. I think it's <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Fuck all. You want to laugh? I always think of the T O O. If it's the I right one, the if, if, I don't know if it's the. I don't know if it's uh, the T O. Oh, that's a bone and a, uh, a fucking bone. Yeah, I don't know if it's two O's, dude. Why, the two uh, T O T O O, <laughs> and I always know the T W O. Stinks. So a lot of times I'll just put the number two. Go fuck yourself. Well, listen, if you don't know what the TWO means, then you should be fucking. <laughs> There's a big problem if you don't know what the TWO The TOO. The TO, uh, sometimes it's hard to differentiate the TO versus the TOO. I don't know what it is. Do uh, you? For the most part. What? You think, okay. You're buying that? You think I'm like, hey, for the yeah. most part. Go. Okay. Fuck okay. yourself. Okay. Literally, two, take that bone, stick it in your asshole. Two two O's yes. mean also. Is that right? Yes. Mike? Two O's mean also. Okay, so give so it to if, me. If, so if I say, hey, Bobby, me and Stacy are coming to the restaurant too, that's T-O-O. Always. Okay. Every right. day. Okay. Every, every day. Every day of the week. Okay. Okay? It's an all... Basically, <laughs> two O... Two... T O O is also okay. That's it. Might be the same word. You might as well be. I'm the gonna same. tell you right now. What? You rolled the dice and you got it. Good for you. I didn't roll. I know what I'm talking. I know. You what fucking I'm went like this. You put the pause that you went. You went. I, I know what it is. And you <laughs> rolled around and you fuck. And you went back to fucking seventh grade, Mrs. Irving. Okay. And you went, Paul, and you pulled it out the last second. Here, Good for you, dude. <laughs> You know you pulled it out. Did you pull it <laughs> no, out? No, I did. I knew it. I knew. Uh, I knew uh, that. You but, but here's the, here's the thing, and and this is a real bone. I'm obviously Bobby sparked the bone. The bone wasn't with Bobby. The bone is I've done that with family. I've done it with friends. Do yourself a favor, okay? Do it for them. Do it for you. If you're in, if you if you're shopping, if you're at the mall, if you're if you're out doing right. something, just just go. Oh, shit, I hope it's not important, but I'll know if it is. Here's the other thing, too. If it really was important, if I really had a flat tire, I'd go, hey, dude, I'm in a jam, dude. Can you fucking take five minutes to talk? I just, just, I got excited. I got excited. So you're and saying very, the bone is don't, if you can't talk, don't pick up. If you can't talk, just don't pick up. That's right. that's my bone. All right, you know what? Right. I take my broken bone back. Okay. And I apologize. No, no, you don't have to apologize. I just did. Don't fucking do not tell me. Okay. I just apologize. Okay. Okay. Don't tell me that you want to talk about control. Okay. No. <laughs> you want to talk about control issues. Okay. No, you don't have to apologize. Okay. When somebody apologizes, you know if I mean what the oh. fuck? <laughs> this took away my apology. What okay. man does no, that? No, no, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, that was now, right. now I will pass the bone to my counterpart, and it is your time for, for your bone. It is my big bone time. Are you ready? Bone two. Men, men's bathrooms. <laughs> Dude, if you stopped now, I would say that's a good bone. <laughs> that's how good that was. If you stop now, that's a good bone. Go ahead, men's bathrooms. All right, here's the thing. Yeah. I don't know when they created them. I don't know what they did. I don't know why they did it. But at some point, some chooch invented the urinal. Right? Invented the urinal. Oh, women... They don't have a urinal. They got stalls. Right. You go in, there's a door, you shut it, you sit, you piss, whatever you do. Right? Yeah. But for men, probably because we're assholes, we don't know how to aim or we don't take care of things, we don't pick the seat up, 
they invented the urinal and they have a urinal bank. Okay? Mm -hmm. If I'm, if there's a urinal bank of four urinals, they usually have four with the kid urinal, five total, right? Or three with the kid, the little kid urinal. Yeah. If I'm at the urinal and there's more than two urinals, there's three urinals. Don't go next to you. You don't, you don't pee next to me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. You go to the, f you, it is a rule, unwritten. Yeah, it is. But a rule. If there's a urinal bank and you walk in and there's a guy peeing here, and if you, if you go in the middle, <laughs> if you go in the middle, you're fucking mentally ill. If you're the guy that goes, you see a yeah. blank, a blank slate of urinals, <laughs> And you go in the middle. <laughs> You're nuts. You need. I'll, I won't pee. I'll stop. I'll wait for you to be done because there's something wrong with you. You're fucking nuts. I love You're it. You're nuts. If you go in the middle, middle yeah. you're looking for action. I, you're looking for action. I, I'll tell you this. I so don't go in the middle that I'll go to the kids one before I go to the middle. Uh, hot, listen, If here's the thing. If it's urinal, urinal kids, you go to the kids. 100%. You don't go next to me. No. Now, if there's a urinal, kids, all right, you can go next to two urinals, I get it. Yeah. But you don't look. You straight at, you stare at that tile in front of you like there's there's a nude photo. <laughs> nude photo. There's tits in front of you, just tits, yeah. just big, juicy tits, and you stare. <laughs> you don't, don't look at me. Don't say hi. I don't want a head nod. How's it going? Nothing. Yeah, I look up. There's no communicate. What? I'm an uplooker. What does that mean? When I go piss and there's people at the urinal, I, I, I go up. Well, I mean, that's a little psychotic. Why? If I looked over and I saw a dude doing this, I'd be like, he's possessed by Satan. <laughs> no, <laughs> the fuck? No, 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 no. I just go like this. Just, no, that's nuts. Why? Why? Dude, don't do that. I don't want to I, I don't want to go, go down because some dudes either fit, you know, play with that shit. No, like, I don't want to see. I don't even want to see the peripheral no, of a you, guy shaking. All right, listen. I don't want to see a dick. What if the guy's taller than you? You're looking up. He's right there. <laughs> I mean, how fucking tall is he? Just look five, straight. What, what, what is he, nine feet tall? I'm just saying, dude, I was at a urinal. I mean, there was four urinals and the kid urinal, right? I, I was at um, Alamo Draft House. Alamo Draft House. Yeah. Middle of the movie. I got to go take a squirt. <laughs> I got to go take a squirt. I go into an empty bank with empty stalls. Why do you keep saying bank? Uh, urinal bank. Is that, not what it's, is that what it's called? You mean just the urinals? Why why you say urinal bank? It's a urinal bank. It's a bank of urinals. Is it's, that is it's that, more than one? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yes. I never heard that before. Great. Now you got something new. So can I finish my ball? <laughs> okay, sorry, go ahead. I mean, you're gonna bust my balls <laughs> over a fucking bank? I, I don't know if that's a thing though. <laughs> We're gonna find out, aren't we? Yeah, it's my, a thing. Yeah. It a Toilet thing? bank, <laughs> urinal bank, it's a reference <laughs> to multiples in a oh, row. Okay. Okay. So I didn't know. School of fish, toilet bank. Go ahead. What? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, there's a school of fish. The there's a flock of geese. I'm gonna and there's a urinal bank. Oh, my. A bank of urinal. All right, whatever, okay. man. Okay. I mean, wow. What movie did you interrupt yourself with? Um, It was uh, Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, the new one. Okay. No, I went to the old one. I saw the old one. I figured, why not? Go see the... Yeah, the new one. <laughs> Stop with the questions. Okay. God, you're right. So, so you're at the bank. I'm at the nobody's in there. I'm at the urinal bank. bank. You're not at the, the bank. I'm not peeing at the bank. I'm not a savage. <laughs> okay. So I'm at the urinal bank, and I go the first one open. It's open. There's they're all there. There's four plus the kids. All empty. All empty plus the stalls. You go. You go furthest one. First, no, I go to the first one. That's mine. I'm there first. Fuck you. I get the first one. Okay. Guy comes in, goes next to me. Oh, buddy. Now I get. Now I'm on edge. <laughs> Are you trying to rob me? You want to suck my dick? What are you trying to do? I'm not. I'm with my kid. You think yeah. I came to the movies? I, I snuck away. Hey, yeah. son, I'll be back. I'm going to go suck a dick. Really? Is that what you thought? I brought my kid and my wife, got all kinds of popcorn and shit, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go suck a pecker real quick. And, well, you out of your mind. How was the blowjob? It was good. It was fucking good. This guy sucked my dick off in a minute and a half. I was back in there eating my popcorn. Completely my wife. relieved. <laughs> no, you're right. I, that's a great bomb, dude, dude. Right next to me. You can't do it. I, I, I literally made eye contact. I listen. <laughs> I went, I went like this. We're both. I go. 
Really? <laughs> I, went, I said, really? And Did was, you? Yes! Oh, Diz, man. why are you next to me? Yeah, it's no reason. Was he bigger or smaller than you? No, he was bigger than me. I wouldn't have fucking said shit. <laughs> I just kicked the shit out of this little fucking dweeb. <laughs> That's a great ball. Listen, it's yeah. the same thing as when you're in a movie theater and it's empty. And you're sitting there. Oh my and god! Go, and then somebody comes close, and you're going, "We have the whole space. Why do that?" Yeah, dude. I, yeah. I understand you want the middle seat or there's a certain seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I do at the movies? Yeah. I buy five seats. Uh, I, I buy five. Oh, so smart. nobody sits next to us. Smart. I love it. I fuck love fuck you. you. Yeah. Yep. Nobody sits next to you. I, and I buy the last row. I'm gonna say that's a great bone because if you go into a bathroom. And there's a guy at the urinal bank, and it's a, and he's alone. He's alone. Yeah. And you decide to cozy up next to him and piss oh, the word when, cozy. There's oh. 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 when there's three, three other ones? When there's three other ones? Three other ones in You're, stalls. It's a great bone. You could have went in the stall. If I came in and I saw the guy next to the urinal, I might have went in the stall. I, I actually, I'll tell you, I'll take it a step further. When there's, th when there's even an empty thing but yeah. multiple yeah and the stall's open go in the stall i'll just go in the stall go in the stall shut the door you, you, i'd rather the privacy of a few minutes if you a minute than that 100 percent. go in the stall shut the door take your whiz you're good to go great bone Thank i love you the bone much there uh, we and, go. and guys if you and you know what we want this to be in your life okay so tell somebody look at them in the face and go really what are you doing yeah that's a bone this is trying to we want the world to get we're trying we're, to we're making the world a better place by bringing these up yes. so you can bring them out in the world and go, hey, these are bones. That's a bone. That's so this jack off may watch this podcast someday and go, I fucked up. Yes. I fucked up. Yes. We're I trying to make the I world. Wanted to, I wanted to suck this this 52-year-old guy's dick. What? And I, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. We're making the world better one bone at a time. One bone at a time. I like it. <laughs> Maybe not at the urinal. Say I've got a bone for you. That might. That's a tough yeah, one. You know what, Mike? <laughs> you know it'd be funny. That's if, why. You know, <laughs> you know what'd be funny is if you're, you're pissing next to him. And he goes, "Hey, man, I'm part of the Boner Brigade." <laughs> boner Brigade. Because that's what that's what our fans are calling themselves now. It's the Boner Brigade. Speaking of the Boner Brigade, we're gonna go to you right now because we have a segment at the end, which everybody loves, yes. called. Fan bones. And by the way, guys, uh, as far as our bones, we would uh, we really appreciate everybody that has been listening. I mean, and hundreds and hundreds of people have sent in fan bones. You guys, like, uh, I was on the road. You guys coming out and taking pictures and talking and just keep mentioning uh, Bone to Pick podcasts. And please keep rate reviewing and writing uh, about the the show because it just rates. Uh, what is it called? When you rate it, it moves up in the uh, it moves up yeah, in the like iTunes. Like it and do me a favor. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Stop fucking around. There's thousands of people watching it. Just subscribe and go to our Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Yes. And, and follow us and on the, there. And the that more you guys, out a lot. And the more you guys subscribe, the bigger the show's going to get, and you can get the bone to pick anywhere you get your uh, podcasts, like iTunes, Spotify, and all that. Mikey, what do we got for a fan bone? Fan bones. This is a fun one, because this, this is an international bone coming from Gareth from the UK. Cool. We got British we bones. We got a British bone? We got British, British bone bones. dogs. Nice. Uh, British Bone Dogs, I like that. <laughs> like the British Bulldog. You don't even know what that is, do you? Of course, I did a wrestler. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this, he's, he's not sure if this applies here, but I think it does. Uh, there's a law in the UK, you have to give a cycler a meter and a half if you're going to pass him in your car. But he said these cyclers also stay off about a meter and a half, so it's impossible to get around these bicyclists because they think they own the fucking road. And he said it's making them crazy because now you're just b banging up traffic. So his bonus with anyone on a bike that's taking advantage of I got this. Look, look. I got this out of the gate, if you don't mind. No, no. Go, I've, I've talked about it so much on my podcast because my neighborhood, I want to kill them. And if I was a serial killer, I'd kill cyclists. So I'm going to just give this to you because it's last. I, I, don't, I don't need this for my blood pressure. I think. <laughs> I don't need this. I think. I think cyclists should be like deer. Yeah. You should be able to hit them. And then and then throw them in the back of your truck and, and cook them. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen to me. They number one, selfish. number one. If you're fat and you're on a bike, fuck you. Number two, if you're if you're if you're chubby and you have the gear, if if your feet are clicked into pedals and you're chubby, I know you're trying to lose weight. I've lost weight. F fuck you. Yeah. Number three, if you're not practicing for the Tour de France. 
and you're on the side of the road taking up space, go fuck yourself. Okay? There, it's the worst. I hate them. I hate okay. bike people. Uh, I almost was killed in a car because with my family because this, these assholes were, not only were they didn't have a, they were in the middle. Oh. And they were arrogant. Well, they were arrogant. The they, the they were arrogant. And I had to go around while other cars were coming. Oh other cars are coming and I've seen that because the law is on their side. If any of you people listening to this show know. Is the law on their side? Yes, 100%. You hit them, you go to jail, you hit them. <laughs> if, if anybody listening to this podcast knows a movie or a documentary where somebody on a bicycle was hurt uh, or hit, Send it to me so I could watch it on a loop, because yeah, if, if send it, I'd like to too. If this if, video, <laughs> of, like that, you know they have the video on the YouTube where it's just people getting shot by like <laughs> business owners. I I, I want to see this too. If there's a if, please send it to us. I would love to watch a loop of just bike people getting schmealed by trucks. They get angry. They go like this. What? What? Oh, what? Oh, they go go around. I can't. You tub of shit. Yeah. Because you're on a ten speed. And here's the deal. If it's me or you. If it's me, if it's me or you with my little girl or son in the car, yeah. you're dead. You're fucking dead, dude. I'll hit the back of your tire, and let you catapult right into the woods, and I'll watch <laughs> your helmet smack into the fuck. They are, they are arrogant. He's a hundred percent right, but the law is on their oh. side, and that's the problem with bicyclists: is the law is on their side. Here's the deal: How about towns? Can can towns do this? Can towns say if you want to cycle, here's an area where we're gonna put a uh, an extra whatever five to ten feet a bike path they do have that yeah well not they by have me. bike paths they have them and you should put your bike on your stupid car on the yeah. back of your little thing that you have yeah drive to that bike path in yonkers goes all yeah. the way up to katona it's yeah. miles and you get on that bike path and you do your stupid shit yeah do your dumb shit listen bobby can i can i tell you a fantasy of mine yeah, you're gonna Can, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So I, I, I'm in New York City, right? You guys ready? I'm in New York City, this right? It's a fantasy. Yeah, it's a fantasy. Okay, it's but, a fantasy. But, but, but I want to... I just want you to say fantasy yeah. again so that if you ever do, this comes true. Yeah. And we have to put this footage <laughs> in the court case. No, it's a fantasy. Yeah, yeah it's a fantasy. And I, I, I'm, I'm, got, I'm driving to a gig yeah. and I got, I'm in the city. I got to get to the stand or one of the clubs, right? All right and, you know, I don't know what you're doing that thing. Oh, sorry. I know. Yeah, yeah, I always do that. Yeah, I and I, and I'm I'm driving, and there's like one of those guys speeding with food, and he thinks because he's got to get somewhere, and he's delivery, he's gonna cut me off or yeah. try to hurt my car. M my car hits their bike, and they, they fly into a window, like a glass window of a restaurant, and all the rice and food smears against it, and they go up against it like a cartoon character, and they slide down, and I laugh as blood comes down their face. And then I take whatever's left in the, the, the Chinese food thing, and I, I leave with it laughing. That's a fantasy. Paul? <laughs> what? I mean, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I, mean, that's, uh, I, I don't know if you needed the blood part. Why'd you take the food? Were you hungry? <laughs> what the fuck? It's there. Yeah, but you're going you're gonna to go to the scene of a crime and take the guy's fucking I mean, food. dude, if there's fucking dumplings or spare ribs, there's a Well, you didn't say dumplings. If you said dumplings, I would be with you. If it was dumplings. If I knew there was I mean, dumplings. If, if you just see like fresh dumplings and spare ribs on the thing. I'm fine. Right. You didn't say dumplings. I was thinking like more of a Are club you kidding me? I'll be, on, French I'll be on a sawmill eating fucking pork. I'll fucking <laughs> dumplings are the best. I would love to drive on the sawmill eating dumplings. I hate bikers. Listen, in the city, it's a different thing. I got to I gotta change. I got to. I got to give them a little bit of a I got to give a little adjustment. Okay. In the city, it, you know, look, I'd rather have people on bikes. They have bike paths. They have to obey the law like cars in the city. Right. I'm talking on the roads. I should have went blood. Blood went far. It was a little too far. Yeah, sorry. Here's the deal. I moved to the country. I moved to the suburbs to get away from this bullshit. Yeah. Now I'm driving Yeah. on, on 9A and I got to slow down because you got a fucking midlife crisis uh. and got a, and, and, and got a, 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 <laughs> got a mountain bike. Got a mongoose <laughs> and your little, click, <laughs> your little stupid clicky feet. Ah. Uh. Oh, the worst too. You ever see when they get off the bike? They get off the bike somewhere and they click, 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 click. And they got those cleats that like lock into the pedals. Yes. Oh, whatever. And then they, and then you know it's funny because a dude, I did a hundred miles. Who gives a shit, dude? Yeah, you it's hundred miles yeah. on a fucking. And you're probably coasted for fifty yeah, dude, of them. Fuck, it's not like you, you know. Stop. 
hundred yeah. miles. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. You walk a hundred miles. I'll give you. A, I'll, I'll, I'll donate to your cause. Dude, I walk four. I almost puke. All right. Well, listen, England. You know what? We might have kicked you out because you had some stupid tea back in the day, but that was a good bone. So God bless the queen. Oh, the king. Yeah. Sorry. And by king. the way, can we be honest for a second? I'm not trying to be disrespectful because I was just in London with my family yeah. and it was beautiful. But when I saw the king and queen with that purple Halloween costume on with that, I mean, what are you guys, nuts? Yeah, I mean, on. are you guys it's nuts? The, it's the king. I, I mean, is it's it? It's the king. I, I mean, it's the king. I, I, all right. The guy has a golden chariot. I mean, it's ridiculous. Dude, it's no? Rid no, you know, it's ridiculous. Some fat broad in Jersey on a wedding renting one of those and pretending to be them. That's the actual king and queen. Those are the guys that's that it's good, from. That's a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. the fucking king. He's a king. <laughs> this, I mean, he's a king. I'll be honest with you. Wouldn't it be cool to roll up into a club with, with Charles? Yeah, he's the king. Be First like, of all, dude, England, don't forget, England was the motherfucker yeah. for hundreds of yeah, years. Yeah, that is true. They own the planet. They were like Rome. Yeah. You know, in the last hundred, they fucking gave, I don't know what they did. They gave up. Now, now they're not, they got one little island. They gave her fucking assholes. Yeah, they gave everything yeah. up. I'd be but, like, yeah, I'm with Charles. <laughs> now, yeah, back in the day, England would have fucking killed anybody on a bike. Yeah. They would have beat the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, my God, the horses would have yeah. stomped oh, them. <laughs> now you can let the bikers go. 20 meters. Fuck you. <laughs> go back to the old England. Get a club, punch that fucking out of the head, and then go to the pub and watch your stupid football game. <laughs> God bless. Good fan bone. Good bone, guys. Next fan bone, bone. This bone coming up right now. All right, we got a fan bone from Nathan Sharples. Nathan is uh Don't. Has... Don't. What? I When he said Sharples, I saw your fucking lip. I didn't say anything. You didn't like I, the last name. No, I didn't say anything. Say it. Then say no, Sharples. I was going to say, what's up, Nate? Say, what's his last name? Sharples. <laughs> Nate, your last name stinks. <laughs> I got a bone with it. His last name. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead, Nate, go ahead. Okay. Nathan has a big bone when Starbucks or any drive through now, uh, they ask for tips. So they give you an option to tip or they leave a tip bucket out. Right. That's tough because they get people like me because I can't, you can't ask me for a tip and I say no. That's the problem. Because we're Italian, Nate. Yes. You're, you're sharp. What the fuck is Sharples? Well, it, what is that? That's German. Is it? No, I don't. I just, Sharples? I just said that. You just said that. Yeah, no. It was. It, Listen, it's here's Dutch. the thing. We got. I got Sicilian in me. Yeah, me too. You got Sicilian in me. If it's we a hard see a thing. tip. Dude, we we over tip. Dude, I tried to give a tip at Rite Aid on Christmas, and the guy, <laughs> I fucked, the the guy, guy had a panic once. attack. <laughs> Giannis was like, "What do you?" I tried to give a guy a twenty for telling me where scissors were uh, at a Rite Aid. <laughs> yeah, I, <did. laughs> I said it's Christmas time. We're the wrong so guy. We're the, yeah, like when it comes to tips, we're like, yeah, yeah, we're the wrong guy. Yeah, dude, I went to the toll booth. The guy was like two fifty. I go, I only got a twenty. He goes, all right, I go keep it. <laughs> Get yourself a cup of coffee, dude. I was at a wedding. I was literally at a wedding in wine country in L.A., and it was forbidden to give gifts. It was forbidden to give gifts. They said no. There's no gifts. It's for friends. So I, I, I had a moment with the groom. I called him over and I handed him an envelope of cash. And he goes, "What? You can't." He goes, "You can't do this." Right. And I go, no, I, I, I came here all across the country. I came with my wife. I got it. He goes, "Paul, dude, this is really not. I, you can't do." It. So I got. Just tell me who. I, so I, he said, "You got to get to the wedding planner." So I called the wedding planner over and I gave her a, a, an envelope of cash. You gave the wedding planner. You how much? What? How much? It was hundred. I don't want to say how much because it, it was hundreds. How much? It was hundreds. How much? Multiple hundreds. Five? It, no. Less? Yes. Two? No. Three? Yes. Why didn't you just tell me? Why'd you make me do that? Why'd you make me tell you? Because you, listen, I wasn't supposed to, you, I wasn't allowed to give you anything. You gave $300 to that fucking bitch who got paid, overpaid for no, planning a no, wedding. No, 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 I had to give it to her to give to him. You, you think it made it to him? I'm sure it did. Really? If it didn't. 100% sure that, yeah. that, that lady... Remember, I want you to think. Look in the, the eyes. camera. Yeah. Remember her face. Yep. Remember her face. I know. I see it now. When when you walked up to her, yep. remember her energy. Yeah. And you gave her an envelope. And I said, I said. And what she said? I go, listen. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but you know, I, I have to give it to you to give to the groom. And I said, you got to make sure he gets it. She goes, oh, I will. She laughed. She laughed. What? <laughs> yeah, I will. Well, I'll uh -huh. find out. No, you won't. Why? Yeah, we can call him. I'll call him. But call you get that? Did you get those call three him bills? Right now. What? Text them right now. No, I can't. I can't call them now. Text them now. Go get three, the three bills. Text them and go. Did you get the envelope I gave you for the wedding? I will put it on speaker. Go ahead. I don't know if I should do this. You should do it. Fuck. 
Leave a message. That's what you want. That's what you want anyways. So there you go. You got what you wanted. Write the fucking voicemail. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyways. <laughs> That's well, perfect, brother. Got one good that was friend. perfect, brother. All right. Uh, so, anyways, listen. I understand what he's saying, Nate. Right, Nate. This is Mr. Sharples. Yeah. Sharples. But here, here's the thing. He do, he does make. <laughs> but listen, he does do a, he does make a good point. It does suck to go to a drive-through where you're already paying. Okay. Over overpriced. You're, you're paying way overpriced yeah. for coffee or any little pastries you want, yeah. and then for them to suggest that. Well, they it's, should. It's what, shitty. It is shitty. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Pay with your app, pay with your app, and it pops up and just ignore it. That's good. Just pop, look, at I, I always tip a dollar. I use my app and I tip a dollar. What? Why would you tip a dollar? When I use the app. Oh, it's like it lets you. It comes up. It goes, it's like a you, donation. Would you like to leave a tip? And it goes to them. I found out. I, I talked to the guy. I was like, okay. hey, when I leave a money on this app, it doesn't go to Starbucks, right? He goes, no, it comes to us. We get, and he goes, much appreciated. Okay. So listen, I leave a tip, but use your, get the app. Yeah. And don't leave a tip. I I don't I don't I don't get mad at people who say, look it, I'm paying for this. Yeah. Right? Yep. I'm paying for this. Yep. And it's expensive. A cup of coffee at Starbucks. This fucking thing right here mm -hmm. costs six bucks. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's nuts. But I'm a I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love how cold it is. I love how big it is. I love the straw that <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Looks like a practical joke straw. It's Why nuts. is it so long? I just didn't push it in. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the optical illusion that fucked everybody up. So, but yeah. what I'm saying is, is that, you know what? I don't begrudge you, Nate, for saying, hey, I don't want to give anymore. I gave enough. I worked my ass off. I'm giving, you're getting paid. They get benefits. Now, like certain places, you know, I look, I give a couple bucks. I, I We went to lunch the other day at yeah. Carmine's. Oh. Carmine's. Oh, Carmine's. What, Times Square you went? No, fucking Carmine's up by me, dude. Oh, okay. Open till four every day. They shut down at four. That's how good they are. Oh. Four o'clock, they're like, we're done. That's great. Dude, oh, I think breakfast. I ate there with you one time. Dude, it's the best. Yeah, me yeah. Me and Don go there for lunch. The guy who owns is the best. The, the lady there, she's busting her ass. Great. On, on us. Really great. Yeah. I left her a 20. Nice. Because you got Left class. her a 20. Of course you did. $60 bill. Here's a 20. Of course you Even did. Even the guy, Bob, who owns it, he's like... Jeez, man, that's a good tip. I was like, yeah, she's she actually she was great, and she went. You could tell she came back out. Hey, we got you okay? Yeah, you made her day. She's busting her ass. Yeah, working for you now. Starbucks, another thing. I get it. I'm. I understand you, Nate. But because we have Sicilian blood in us, I, that's the thing. It's we can't. And he's. I understand. We might have to go to Mike for this one. Yeah. Well, he, and, Mike, because you're not Sicilian. Well, let me just say this, Mike. Before you before you you chime in on this, I just want to say one thing to Nate. I get I he as much as I love tipping. He's also like, hey, you know, you get in a good mood when you get your coffee, right? I, I do. I do. When I get my coffee, dude, it's a part of my morning. I go, holy shit, I'm going to get my iced coffee. Yeah. I'm excited. It's gonna kick my day off. And then all of a sudden, you have that good thing, and in your mind, you're going, all right, do I have to? All right, what are they gonna? Should do I have cash to tip? Or do I need to tip? It takes away from something a little bit. But we're Sicilian, so we have to take that step. We have to take the step. Yeah, we can't. It's, I it's, can't driving away without doing it when it was an option. Yeah. Is it hurts? Yeah, I feel like I feel like I did something bad. It's it's because yeah. I feel like like I, I like I feel like if I don't tip, I might work there someday. Right, like karma's gonna come back. Yeah, yeah. What do you I think, Mikey? Yeah, I know what you we mean. We might have to go to Mike, who has no Sicilian blood in him whatsoever. Well, you don't know how to pronounce my last name because it is uh, very Sicilian. Sicilian. Yeah, he's Sicilian. Uh, oh, yeah, there's three Sicilians on this uh, pod. Wait, However, oh, wait a minute, oh, it's that's Sicilian. Albanese. Albanese. That that sounds fucking. I thought that was Leb Lebanese. Yeah. Well, because the Albanese, I thought it was Al like. No, there was an Italian restaurant we used to go to called really Albanese. Italian? Are you full Italian? Oh, uh, half Italian. I'm a, a third Italian, Irish, and German. German. Okay, I thought you were like German Irish. To be honest with you. The sorry about the that. German Irish makes you not want it. it, it waters down the tipping. <laughs> it does a little bit. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I love I love tipping and taking care of people, but I don't like supplementing people's. I don't like supplementing Starbucks paying their employees less because I'm expected to tip. So okay. I, I've pushed back a little bit on the, the tipping because I think com big companies are getting away with murder by not having to pay but, uh, fair can, wages. Can I say something though? Please. On a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. fifty cents. You, I give a dollar. The change, fifty cents change. Cup of coffee. But here's the thing: if you give fifty cents, 
How many people you think a Starbucks person sees in a day? Um, hundred. I would say more. Hundred and fifty. Yeah, I would say between one hundred and fifty and two hundred. One hundred and fifty times fifty is what? Seventy-five. Seventy-five dollars. Mm-hmm. Seventy-five bucks. Not a lot. It's of not money. great. Not a great money. No, it's not great. But I get you, Nate. I I, no, I, I get, I get it. I think he's, I, I think he just wants to get his coffee and not think about that. Because yeah. here's what, he, he, and here's his point, and this is why it's a good bone. It wasn't there before pandemic. A lot of this shit is happening after pandemic, and I don't know if it's to make up for money. But if you notice that, it used to be, hey, tip. It, you know, it used to be, you go in. Listen to me. You deliver it to my door. You deliver it to my door, you get money. You get a tip. If I'm coming to you and I see a sign, tip what you can. You know what? You might be changing me on this. You, 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 might, be, you might be fucking changing me. Is it a reverse bone? This might be, this might be a, a, a... An a, inverted bone. Yeah, an man. Inver- yeah. This might be changing it's, me because you know what? I am going to you. I'm going, I'm going to you. I'm going to you. you. And, you're, and I'm paying for it. They're supposed to be paying you. Yeah. Through the the money I'm giving you goes to them. All of a sudden you put a you put a begging jar out front. It's it's like a double dip it's from that. Begging. Yeah, it's it's not you know, you didn't Starbucks, come Starbucks, the guy who owns it, how much is he worth? He's gonna yeah. be pr- he's gonna Well here's the, the deal. Bring the Starbucks to my door and you get tipped. I'm coming to you. If I go to you, but what about restaurants? What do you mean? If you go to a restaurant. It's different. Why? Because you've been you've been sitting there for a long time. Somebody keeps coming out for you multiple times. They give you the water. They're, they give you the service. bread. They're, They're service. serving you all night. That's They're different. service. Right. There's You're service not just going and there's in. quick service. Right. Quick service is Starbucks, Chipotle. Right. And then there's service. Good it's service is going, hey, get the I'll tell you what, you're changing me on this. I'll yeah. tell you why. Yeah. Nate, you might be changing me. And Virgil, you no. might be changing He's me right. on this. He's right. Here's the thing. I stayed at a hotel in Boston once. Yeah. And I went to give to, they go, sir, we don't take tips here. Every We get paid well. And you know, we're here to service you. We cannot take a tip. And I was like, what? Nobody at this hotel, it was such a fancy hotel, nobody could take a tip. They were like, we don't. We, yeah, they get in trouble. They, we don't take tips. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. But I appreciate it. I was like, wow, this is great. Yeah. You're doing this for the love of the game. Yeah. You're doing this because you get paid good. Yep. You got, a, you got this, 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 pension, whatever you got. You, you're getting money enough to do your job. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I don't have to, I got to pay. Four hundred dollars for this room, and then another fucking ten to you, and ten to him, and five to him, and twenty yeah. to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know what? You know what, Nate? I think you you made history. We yeah. changed. You're right. Yeah, that bitch You're... at Starbucks ain't getting shit tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not giving him. I'm not giving him nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. Blame Nate too. <laughs> Nate Spagabo. What's his name? Skabugugi. Skadushi. Skabars. Skabazi. What is it? Nate. Spagoni. Sharples. 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 Ooh. Sharples. Oh, wow. there you go. Yeah, we I might have a bone with your name, dude. <laughs> Sharples. What is that? But good bone, Nate. Good bone, Nate. Good, All right, good. let's do one more. Let's get one more quick one. We got in. one more fan bone and coming we in. Big, we got a big announcement at the end of this we one. We got a big announcement Whoa, at the end yeah. of this podcast. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Hit the comments. Tell us what you think. Yes. Tell us if you think these bones, these fan bones. What do you think and of guys, the bones? If you like the podcast and you're just discovering, like many people are telling us on the road, share it with a friend. Tell people, hey, if you get pissed off during the day and you want to blow off some steam, listen to these two fucking knuckleheads oh. yelling at things, and it'll help you. Yeah, do that. Make sure you subscribe and comment. We got a big announcement, so stick around. We got one more fan bone. Let's do it, Mike. Michael Hopkins has a bone, and this is a good one. I think we can all really agree oh. with adults who are picky eaters. So not not someone like who doesn't eat seafood or they're like they're allergic to something, but someone Ooh. who's like, oh, I don't like onions, please take them out, or oh, I don't eat cilantro, so I that a picky eating adult. Listen, I, I got a couple got, of well, them here, in my here's, life. Here's the deal. I hate to say this. My, my wife is my wife is as I, uh, she's the mother of my children. <laughs> okay, I I I love her. Paul, we're not I, asking you to kill her. I, I, lo- <laughs> I mean, this is just a podcast. <laughs> My wife is a very, very picky eater. How can your wife be a picky eater? No, my wife is a picky eater, dude. But I went to your if house. There's in, no, but if there's... First of all, she won't... Not even... She won't eat certain things. She won't eat seafood, but she looks in. She can't have certain things. What Filet mignon, well done. Butterflied. This and that. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, butterfly filet. Butterfly filet. It was great steaks, juicy steaks. They got a, they got a butterfly. Well done. Why but butterfly? Because she, she just got, you know, because God forbid they cut, comes back pink. She can't have it. She's, listen, she's a picky eater. She's a great person. 
Okay. Well, we're not saying your wife's a bad human being. But she is a pick eater. A but, pick but I don't know if she would. Here's the other thing, though. I think he might be saying something different because she's not going to be like, take the cilantro out, take the onions out. She'll just say, can this be well done? I won't eat this. I think he's saying the people that go, take the corn out, take listen, the cilantro out. There's a difference. I don't, listen, and I, and I think we can go to, if we can go to a, an extended bone okay. on this, too. Yep. Because there's people I know that only eat like three things. You, you know what I mean? They eat like children. Oh, oh, they'll eat like a cheeseburger. I only eat pizza. I only yeah. eat French fries. Yeah, yeah. I eat, you know, I got people in my life that will only eat, hey, we're going for Thai. I don't eat Thai. Who who the fuck? There's, first of all, Thai's Chinese. I mean, what are you talking about? It's just the same. It's noodles with some right, type of right. sauce with rice. and I mean, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're going out for uh, Italian. I don't eat Italian. What? Ooh, what? Yeah. I only eat pizza and fucking hot dogs. What? Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. they have a kid's menu? It's like, what? Yeah, dude. I, I, I know a couple people like this. I, should I name them? I, no, I'll you don't. name them. Uh, I mean, uh, look, we're going to- Are they in your life? I love them. Are they family? No. Okay, name them. Joe List is a fucking um, maniacal picky eater. Oh, uh, okay. And I look, I don't, I get it, but it's like- could we ever do an extended thing together? Like, could I go on a, uh, you know, on a on a vacation with you? No. Right. Hey, we're going out to eat tomorrow. Where are we going? Hey, we're gonna go to this new seafood place. Oh uh, yeah. I uh, I don't eat. I only eat pizza. What? See, that's what sucks is you go. Hey guys, we like people you love. You go, hey, man, I found this great Indian restaurant, dude. The food's amazing. We're going to have a great time. And they go, oh, we don't do that. And you're going, what? Have you been to, have, but you, there's another have you tried anything in yeah. life? Well, there's another thing he's saying, too, is like, my wife kind of gets under my skin with this, too. It's like, we'll go to eat. And she'll be like, can I? Okay, here's the dish. It's a chicken dish with vegetables. Yeah. And she'll go, hi, uh, I'd like the chicken. Is it grilled? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can, and I also, can I get, um, I would like um, the red, I don't want the red onions. Can I get, do you, take, yeah. can you do the, do you have yellow onions? Yeah, we do. We can, okay, yeah, for an extra charge. And she's like, you know, I'm like, listen, I tell the way, whatever it is, whatever she pay, I'll pay it. Yeah. Because this is going to go on too long. Yeah. <laughs> Just whatever. Don't stop saying actually, it's going to be, stop trying to make me feel like. Yeah. It's, whatever it, it is. It's going to be, it's going to be. Yeah. It's going to be more money, sir. I don't care if it's a thousand dollars. Yes. I will pay it. Just to get her what she wants, hundred percent. So she'll eat her fucking meal, yep. and I can eat my meal with yep. peace. Yes, yeah, yeah. Picky eaters, it can be a, it can be a. Well, my uh, wife is like, how thick is the chicken um, cutlet? Is it is it thick? Yeah, my wife does it. And then she goes, it's it's a little thick. She goes, nah. Give me the chicken cutlet, but I don't. Want, I want the sauce on the side. Oh uh, yeah. What? That's not a chicken. That's that's not chicken palm. Yeah. That's 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 a whole different fucking. Is it really? Is there a lot of that's sauce on it? It's like. How much? Uh, yeah, dude. Ish. Picky eaters can ruin a fucking great time. When you go out to eat, let me tell you something. You go out to eat, keep your picky shit to yourself. How's that? Keep yeah. your picky shit to yourself. I'll give my wife credit. She does. You know what she does when we go out with people and she knows she's picky? Sure. She'll get the pasta. Just, Good. She, yep. just, she knows She yep. knows it's not worth it. Yep. She doesn't does cause it. Listen, it's gonna be just yep. get the pasta. You, you're gonna, everybody's going to have a question. Yeah. Hey, why don't you like? Oh, do you like? Why you want to try? I don't eat. Is your cilantro grown in South America? Fuck, Get the fuck what are you out nuts? of here! What are you nuts? <laughs> Ugh, I fucking hate them. Yeah, and I I know people. I know people. This is a bad one too. Oh boy, they return the food no matter what. Uh, what? Wait a minute. No matter what. Every time we go to eat, I know two of these people. The same people. Two of the no different people. Two people, different friend groups, oh. did not even know each other. Every time we would go to eat, order something, yeah. ask a million stupid questions. Is this, is that, uh. can you do this? Can we get that? Get it. Take a couple bites. Yeah, can I, I want, I don't, I want to, it, it's not what I wanted. I, you know, return it. After taking bites? Return it. Oh. And get a new dish. And then no problems. I'm going to hold so my why, tongue. Why, I mean, why didn't you just get that in the first place? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's... Return. There's returners. I call them returners. Nothing worse. 
Dude, let me tell you, you know who you are. I'm not going to name these people. You know who you are. If you watch this, you know who you are. You're, you're a bad person. <laughs> you ruined everybody's meal. I mean, everybody's was, worried about you now because you have food. You got your food and it wasn't right. Uh, you yeah. put us through the ringer on the order, and here's and now we're fucking. Now we're waiting for your dish. You added a twenty more minutes to the fucking dinner. Yeah, and here's the other thing too. What sucks about those people is everyone's having a good time. Yeah. Everyone's having a good time. Maybe you're a drink to two in. You're having a good conversation with somebody. Yeah. The appetizers were oh, good, yep. and then all of a sudden you see the person go, "Hey, do you, can you just take this back to the ship?" And now we're all now it's now it's all different. It's all different because your narcissism yep. and your whatever pickiness, craziness. whatever nuttiness, and now everybody at the table that was enjoying themselves yes. feels weird. Yes. Good bone. Yes. Good bone. Here's the thing. You order. We go out to dinner. What can I get you? Appetizers. Bing, bang, boom, boom. Drinks. Bang, boom, boom, boom. And that's why Main you course. Don't... Bing, bang, boom, boom. Yes. The drinks come. Bang. Done. The appetizers come. The appetizers come. Bang. Yeah. And the main he, meal comes. Bang. Done. We eat dessert. We'll look at it. Bang. And, that, and then we're the fuck out. Mike, what's this kid's name? Mike Hopkins. This is Michael Hopkins. I want to say one thing to Michael. It's a great bone. We're gonna wrap this bone up. But here's the thing, Michael. You know what? And, and Michael should teach everybody something today. Michael Hopkins. Okay. Why are you, you giving? Why are you giving speeches at the end like this? What? You giving? You giving like coach speeches what at the mean? end of bone? Every bone you're going. Let me tell you something, Michael. That's a good bone. And I'll tell you why. What, what, what are you... Because what, 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 what I'm you? saying is... I know, but why are you saying it like you're fucking Denzel Washington? What? Let me tell you something, Michael. <laughs> well, what are you doing today? Make sure you, you remember the Titans. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You give it a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, give you a, said wrap the bone up with the people. All right, we'll wrap it up. Are you going to wrap it up like fucking Denzel everywhere? By the way, his fingers... Let me tell you something, Michael. What's his name? Michael Booger. Look at you something. When you go to the restaurant, there's winners <laughs> and there's losers, Michael. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck it no. in the bone. Here's the bone. Oh. He also said something really which should let you know though, you gotta choose the you gotta choose the the do's and the do it outs. Okay? When you go out. And that's really what it comes down to. So a little bit's on Michael, a little bit's on you, a little bit's on me, a little bit's on all of us who go out to you dinner. Know, you got to pick the right couple to go with. You know what, buddy? The do's and the do-it-outers. The do, yeah. And they're a do-it-outer. Oh, because here's the thing. You could love a do-it-outer, but sure. you could do it out them. Yeah, you do it out them. That's the thing. I like so it. So you jumped on my fucking little Denzel speech, but I'm right. That's what I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's all what right, I do. Thanks, Michael. All right, listen, that is the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a bone to pick. I'm Robert Kelly. I'm Paul Verzi. And we'll see you next time. What about time. our big announcement? Oh, big announcement. Oh. Thought you could get away with it. You guys thought we were going to slip this through. Come on. We got a big announcement. You want to do it, Verzi? Uh, I'll you start know, it. Do you even know what it is? I'll, yeah. You, Paul? What? Paul? What? Paul, you fucking Sicilian I was, liar. I was. R r what is it? We are going to do and launch. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. T-shirts. We are going to from from a, from a, <laughs> there's no t there's no t-shirt gun. gun. There's okay. no gun. No 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 no. That that will happen later. But we stop with the t-shirt gun. The Bone to Pick podcast is going to start an official Patreon page. That's correct. And we've been talking about this uh, obviously from the beginning. But you guys have been so great with over three thousand subscribers, guys, in five weeks. So many emails, hundreds of emails, putting your bones in. And we've decided, you know what? We're gonna give you some extra content. So we're gonna give you extra, from here. We're yes. gonna give you extra content. We're gonna be doing f uh, fan bones, extra fan bones for Patreon people only. Now, look, we're only charging a couple bucks for the Patreon. What is that couple bucks? doing it's letting you help us support the studio all the production costs that's all we're doing with it so we made it two dollars and 41 cents why 41 cents because we added in what patreon takes from us so we can get that two dollars even and if it was up uh -huh. to me the, you know and shout out to bobby and mike because if it was up to me i wanted to get more money yeah he wanted a lot more money. i wanted more money i thought 241 was ridiculous for the amazing content and the talent we're giving but we're gonna you can't get 50 dollars a patreon no, no, not fifty. How much? I don't know. Twenty-seven. 20. Are you out of your mind? Twenty-seven forty-one. I. Uh, anyways. No, but we're so happy to be able to give you guys more content. Yeah. And and here's the thing about our Patreon. Our Patreon's about you. Our Patreon is about your bones and all of the extra stuff that we might not be able to fit into the show. Yes. We are going to let you watch it and watch the fun, cool, creative stuff you send us, and we will talk about that. And listen, you keep sending your bones into the email. 
uh, uh, at bone to, uh, at was it bone to bone to pick cast at gmail.com. Keep sending them in there. But if you're a member of the Patreon, if you're on the Patreon, you're a VIP boner. You understand that? You're a VIP boner. You're in the boner brigade. You're and in let's the boner be brigade. Let's, let's be honest, guys. This is the, this is, you guys are watching right now. This is the next big podcast. This is the best podcast. They've asked us to do this for a long time and we're fucking giving it to you. So pony up now. What are you waiting on? Wait, wait pony don't you, up. Don't that's too stop f- using the word pony up. What? Pony up. I, mean, I feel like they no, owe us money. Nice, I had a nice thing you going. You did, but you used the word pony up twice. I can't allow it. What? Pony up. You know, I you was sound like a about, Shylock. No, but I was hyping up the show, and then I you know fucking, you were doing great. And then you said, "Pony up the money." What yeah. are you fucking? You know, sometimes you're a wet blanket. You know what? Sometimes you're a fucking guinea. Yeah, <laughs> I think we can both agree on both of those. Things. Listen, so <laughs> click on the link. We have it in there. Yes, Mike. What's the what's the Patreon? Uh, just go to our in the comments wherever you're listening, or go to our Instagram at Bone to Pick Cast, and all the links will be there. And uh, yeah, so it's click the cheapest, on the link. Cheapest possible, we could make it. It's cheapest possible. It's going into the production, the studio to keep this thing up and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. We love doing the podcast. We love that you love uh, the podcast. So keep sending the bones in. Go to the Patreon, social media, and like Bobby said, keep hitting that, uh, keep hitting that subscribe button because uh, we're at three thousand and we're growing. So there it is. There's the big news. Patreon is out. This podcast is popping, and it's because of you guys. We love that you love it. So keep loving it. And we'll see you guys next week on a Bone to Pick podcast. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you're listening or watching. And if you want to get your bone read on the podcast, email us, bone to pick cast at gmail.com. And for all of our links, head over to our Instagram at bone to pick cast.